Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Some large battles in One Piece have already started, and several more confrontations will happen in this intense final saga of One Piece, in addition to other unexpected events, such as alliances between characters that we might never have expected to happen. And one of these such alliances could be the Straw Hats with none other than the hero of the Navy, Monkey D. Garp. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this possible alliance, the reason why it might make them allied, and how important a union like this for the current final saga of One Piece might turn out to be. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it continues to motivate us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, we currently know that Garp has been captured by the Blackbeard pirates and is totally unable to do anything. In fact, we don't even know if he's still alive, but the Straw Hats are probably the only ones who might have the ability to rescue Garp from the hands of Blackbeard and the rest of his crew. With the possible and eventual success in the operation of helping Vegapunk escape Egghead Island, Luffy and the Straw Hats will eventually receive the news that Garp has been captured by the treacherous Blackbeard and the rest of his pirates, and this could make Luffy want to go and rescue his grandfather. Now, whether they do this directly or after going to Elbath, this definitely could make Luffy and the other Straw Hats go to Pirate Island in search of finding a way to rescue Gar. However, they'd still have to come up with a great plan to be able to invade this island inhabited by many powerful pirates that are on Teach's roster. In order to prepare for such a battle, Luffy would have to recruit allies to help him on this mission, and one of those allies, who is currently at his side, also has a great hatred for Teach and his pirate crew, and that's Jewelry Bonnie, a female pirate with a devil fruit that allows her to control her own age and the age of other people that she points her powers at. So even though Bonnie might want to part ways, there still is a strong possibility that she would continue to offer help, at least as a temporary ally, because she does have experience and knowledge about Blackbeard's operations, and this would prove invaluable for the mission's success. Also, her continued presence would highlight that growing network of connections that the Straw Hats are building throughout their adventures, a network that would encompass pirates, revolutionaries, as well as former Marines and even more individuals than that. Any strategy that they come up with to rescue Garp wouldn't be just a matter of brute force, but might take diplomacy and more strategic coordination. So the Straw Hats might have to reach out to the revolutionaries, because they are an organization dedicated to challenging the world government. With shared resources and a common goal, this alliance could combine the Straw Hats' combat prowess with the revolutionaries' covert operations expertise, forming a powerful and diverse force capable of taking on Blackbeard. Furthermore, Luffy and his allies could exploit the rivalry and personal enmities that exist between different pirate groups, because many Many pirates have unfinished business with Blackbeard, whether due to disputed territories, past disagreements, or even something as stark as betrayals. By seeking out these groups and offering the opportunity to exact revenge on Blackbeard, the Straw Hats could assemble a coalition of enraged and motivated adversaries, each bringing their own unique abilities and resources to that final showdown. Now, the formation of a strategic alliance, whether through the revolutionaries or Blackbeard's rivals, this would introduce a complex tactical dimension to the story, where unit strength and strategic coordination nation would become a crucial thing in facing that growing threat posed by the infamous pirate. With accurate information in hand and a well-conceived strategy, the Straw Hats and their allies would launch an audacious attack on the secret base where Garp is currently being held prisoner. And any battle that would unfold would be a true storm of action and emotion. The allies would form tactical teams, with each having specific roles to take on either the base defenses and even free Garp. During the battle, the Straw Hats would demonstrate their enhanced abilities and synergy after all their previous adventures, while the allies would also shine in their own unique specialties. But this battle wouldn't be an easy walk for either side. There would still be formidable twists and challenges, because the base's defenders would have a fierce, well-trained crew employing different deceptive tactics and elaborate traps. And if nothing else, Blackbeard is known for his strategy and his ability to play the long game. So the Straw Hats and their allies would face numerous obstacles, from single combat to team battles, clashes with high-ranking members of the Blackbeard Pirate would also bring out rivalries and personal histories, further intensifying the excitement of any battle to come. So after an intense and epic confrontation, the daring rescue mission would be a triumph, and Garp could be finally freed, and the reunion with Luffy would be full of emotion. And seeing the Straw Hat's determination and courage in action, Garp would recognize in them the same traits of his grandson Ace and Luffy, and his admiration for their spirit would grow all the more. Deeply grateful for his own release, as well as recognizing the threat that Blackbeard and his 
his crew pose, Garp might temporarily decide to join the crew to face their common enemy. Any alliance between Garp and the Straw Hats would add an emotional twist to this narrative, and his presence would also serve as a bridge between generations, connecting his family's history with the broader goal of protecting the world from the havoc of Blackbeard as well as anything else that the world government could wreak. And this might not be even the final, final battle. So as the epic conclusion approached, the Straw Hats might discover that Blackbeard has an even greater plan, which is why he's been keeping Garp as one of his most prized prisoners. After all, Garp is regarded as a hero of the Navy, and he's one of the most renowned and well-known Marines in the One Piece world. So his value as a bargaining chip, or even as bait, is immeasurable. Teach could actually be using Garp to achieve an even larger goal that he had started during the big showdown that was happening on Pirate Island, putting Luffy and his allies at serious risk if the battle went on much further. But the combination of this intergenerational unity, formidable allies, and the quest to contain a power beyond human comprehension would culminate in an emotional and epic climax, as the Straw Hats face their most daunting challenge yet. A showdown between the Straw Hats, Garp, their allies, and the Blackbeard Pirates would unfold against a grand and imposing backdrop, because the two factions would face each other in an epic battle, with each side utilizing their unique abilities, elaborate strategies, and unwavering determination. And the battlefield would be a chaotic mix of powerful attacks, impressive transformations, and moments of surprising resilience. During such a battle, characters would also face individual and emotional challenges. The Straw Hats would confront opponents that would represent obstacles from their own past journeys, recalling lessons learned and demonstrating just how far they've come since then. Garp, for his part, with his vast experience and knowledge, would show his extremely high strength and inspiring leadership, thus motivating the allies around him and protecting Luffy and the other Straw Hats. But as I already said, the Blackbeard Pirates would be no joke either, and they would still have new tactics and powers and complex strategies up their sleeve as they fight to stop Garp and the other pirates from escaping the island and seeking victory. In fact, the intensity of such a battle would increase as both sides unleashed more and more devastating and surprising attacks, with the fate of the world changing at the end of this incredible confrontation. Of course, emotions would run high throughout the match, with moments of tension, courage, and sacrifice. Temporary alliances would be forged in the midst of battle, while friendships and rivalries would be tested and redefined. Characters would reveal their deepest motivations, and the struggle would become not just physical, but emotional and moral as well. As any battle would intensify, Teach could then show his true power, even causing his pirates to start fighting in earnest, intending to take the lives of all of Luffy's allies who were involved in this battle. We also have to note that twists and turns would be constant, and neither side would come out unscathed. And this confrontation would culminate in moments of personal confrontation where characters would face enemies that represented more than just physical opponents, but also internal and emotional challenges. It's even possible that at the climax of this intense battle, Teach would reveal his ultimate plan, an objective that would surpass Garp and Straw Hat's individual threat, where the fate of the world would be at stake, and the characters would need to make crucial decisions to determine the future of that world. Now, of course, the climax of this battle would be an explosive final showdown between Luffy and Teach, two titans whose choice choices and actions have actually shaped the fate of history and the future, and the end result would remain in suspense until the very final moments, when the true nature of the characters and their journeys would be put to the test. So the alliances between the Straw Hats, Garp, unlikely allies, and even temporary rivals would prove vital in facing the threat that Blackbeard poses. But with courage, determination, and sacrifice, the heroes could prevail, not only defeating Teach, but also ensuring a brighter future for the world of One Piece. And so, the great confrontation and alliances brought about in this final saga of One Piece would not only bring an epic closure to this story, but they would also remind the readers of the importance of coming together in the face of insurmountable challenges and fighting for a future where everyone can pursue their own dreams. So with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. First off, what do you think the status of Garp is? Do you think he's still alive? Or do you think, like some have speculated in the community, that Garp might actually be dead? Because we do know that certain critical deaths are often left off screen, but things still seem to be changing in this final saga of One Piece. But what do you think about it? And if Garp were to survive, and Luffy and Kobe or anybody else came to rescue him, would Garp end up throwing his lot in with his grandson, looking to try and preserve that final piece of family that he has left in the world? Let us know you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos.
videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.